In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to connect your Epson XP4200 or XP4100 printer to any Mac computer. So the first thing you'll need to do is to go on your printer, make sure it's turned on and you have this main menu screen appearing. You're gonna use those arrows to navigate and the OK button to select. You're gonna go until you see settings and then press OK. Then you're gonna go down until you see network settings. Select it and press OK. Press OK again since Wi-Fi setup is already selected. Make sure that the first option here, Wi-Fi, is selected. Press on it and press OK again. Press OK again to select Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. And now it will look for your home network or if you're at the office, your office network. From this list, you can navigate using these arrows and select yours. Press OK. And now you have to enter the password. Press OK again and using these keys, you're gonna enter it. If you want the numbers, you just need to go down there, press OK, and you'll have access to symbols and numbers as well. Once you're done typing your password, select OK and press OK. Then you're gonna select Start Setup and press OK. All you have to do is to wait, don't do anything, don't touch any buttons it will do the connection by itself. Perfect, we have the blue check mark. This means that this printer is now connected to your home wireless network. Now, all you have to do is to go in system preference on your Mac, go on the Apple logo over here on the top left corner, click on it, then go down until you see system preference and select it. Once you're in this menu, it may look different if you have a newer version of Mac OS. You're gonna select printers and scanners. You may have to go on a list on the left side if your menu doesn't look like this and select it from there, printers and scanners. Then you need to click on this plus symbol. If you're on a newer Mac OS, you'll have um, an option down below to add a new printer. In my case, I have to click on this plus symbol. And on this list, you should see Epson XP4200 series or 4100 series. I'm gonna select it. Wait just a few seconds and you'll be able to click on add. Now, just wait, don't touch anything. And the printer will be connected. From this screen, we have multiple options. If you want to scan, you're gonna select scan from here. And you're gonna select open scanner. This will open. You can make it bigger. And it will give you a preview of what was on the scan bed. To place a document on the scan bed, you just have to lift this lid, take the paper you want to scan, place it facing down and align it with this corner over here. You just have to push the corner of the paper to match this corner, like this. And on your Mac computer, well, it will give you a preview. If you don't see the preview, just click overview here. And here you're gonna have multiple settings. Do you want the scan to be in color? How many DPIs you want the scan to have? And this is important. Click on it. If you're scanning a picture, choose the highest number because this will give you the most details. If you're scanning a text document like I just did, 200, 300, this is plenty enough. I'll choose 200. Then select the size of your paper. In my case, it's just a normal sheet of paper, which is an A4, eight and a half by 11 inches. You can select the orientation if you're not happy. 
and where will the scan go in my case i want it to be on desktop you can give it a custom name over here uh, let's say delete in my case i want the file to be called delete and then choose a format pdf jpeg you name them they're all over here if you're scanning an image a picture choose jpeg this is the most common way if you're scanning a text document choose pdf again this is how most people do you can leave image correction to none when you're ready you're gonna press the scan button over here the scanner will do its job it will just take a few seconds you just have to wait if you're scanning a picture with um, a higher no a dpi number let's say 1600 it may take up to two or even three minutes to scan because there's many details but 200 dpi you see it just took 15 seconds now if i go on the desktop i'll see the file i just scanned over here i can open it up and here we go this is the scan and even if you zoom in as i told you 200 dpi is enough for a text document if you want to print a document you just have to find it on your mac computer let's say i want to print the document i just scanned so this is it and then from here you're gonna go in file then print you'll have this menu appearing and before doing anything just make sure you have paper inserted so here we go i'll just put this here make sure also that this paper tray is open and this is flipped on the mac make sure that epson xp 4200 series or 410 series is selected under printer and here there's many other settings it's up to you to decide what's best for your case so if you want to print in color do you want to print certain pages of the document this is where you decide when you're ready just press the print button and wait here we go you'll have this blue check mark when everything is done and this is the printed paper so this is it this is how you print using your mac computer with an epson xp4200 or 4100 i hope this was useful please leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video